Hi there YouTube, it's Kevin here and I'm bringing you guys the first review of May and for this review I want to do something a little more special to kind of make up for the like subpar reviews at the end of April and so for the first review of May I wanted to review the Comme des Garçons London Dover Street Market exclusive Vans collaboration shoe and so let's check out the shoe. Alright you guys, with the shoe in hand, I can tell you, this shoe is so nice. I mean, a funny story, I really wanted a shoe that I could just wear and wear and wear and beat and beat and beat. Obviously, like, I mean, it, it is a really nice shoe and I don't understand why anyone would think like I do, but I do. And, I mean, it's a all black shoe, so it's gonna be hard to get dirty, and plus, um, the printing on there is... I mean, just super pristine, super high quality. Um, let's just dive into the review. So, as for the details, you have a lot of printing throughout the entire shoe. So, you have, um, I think, if it focuses here. So, you have a lot of different Comme des Garçons, like, mantra phrases. Like, obviously, you can see Comme. Uh, it has a lot of, like, freedom, wear your freedom, like, live freedom, live free, and uh, my energy comes from freedom. Like, these... These general phrases do rotate throughout the shoe, and I just really like how kind of graffiti it looks. Like, it feels like it's a movement, and, I mean, obviously, if you look on Dover Street Market in New York or London, they have the wallets, and the wallets actually individually print, like, some of these phrases or mantras, and, you know, I just really align with what it's saying and what's printed on the shoe and so i just really enjoyed these details and plus like i've never worn a pair of vans before so i really wanted to try out like just a vans shoe but i also don't like wearing what like everyone else wears so i wanted to get something a little more unique and a little more loud and these details really just fit the picture of course it's really just a standard um vans authentic i'd say like i mean obviously it's vans vault so, um, the shoe actually fits a little bigger than your standard Vans, per se, from what I've read on forums and, you know, generally what Reddit says. <laughs> of course, um, since this is my first pair of Vans, um, take it with a grain of salt. Um, the sole down here is all brown, and, wow, I thought it would be black. <laughs> but yeah, the bottoms are brown, and, uh, yeah, the stuff that, I guess, the rubber lining around the midsole is black. It's not gonna get dirty. That's the best detail. Of course, the uh, laces feature these metal eyelets, and uh, yeah, the laces are black. There are really not that many more details. I guess the insoles are a little bit more detailed. Um, inside, you have a little bit of like, you have the Vans Comme de Garçon logo, and it's kind of like printed onto this piece of leather, which is really interesting. I don't know why they included the leather there, but anyways, that's the detail, and let's move on to sizing. So, as for sizing for the Vans Authentic Vans Vaults, I'm pretty sure they're just going to fit the same as any other Vans Vault shoe, which is a tad bit big compared to your Vans typical sizes. And so, say you have, like, a size 7 in Authentics, um, getting a size 7 in the Vans Vault Authentics would run you just a little bit big, um, but not enough to justify like going up a size or up half a size. Um, generally, I'm pretty sure if I were to fit a size 7 in Vans, like Authentics, I should still be able to fit a size 7 here, which is exactly what I did. I just got size 7 and there's just a tad bit room, but I mean, not enough to bother me. Of course, that's about it for sizing. If you have any questions on sizing, leave them down below. And let me know what you think of the shoe, of course. I really enjoy the shoe and the details on the shoe. I think Home de Garçon did a really good job trying to make it a little bit more loud, a little bit more eye-catching in terms of just like what the design has to offer. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, I'm gonna throw these on feet to give you guys an idea of what they look like. But yeah. See you guys next week.